What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're reacting to another Nukes Top 5. He just released this video today. Top 5 scary ghost videos that are disturbing. I wonder how disturbing they're going to be. If you guys want to see the original video, I'll put the link to it down in the description below. Top 5 ghosts. Cough on camera. Highway horror. Late one Sunday evening, Mitch Kuhn and his parents are driving down a busy highway near Sydney, Australia, when out of nowhere they have an absolutely unnerving encounter. Mitch captured the hair-raising moment with his dashboard camera. Mitch explains that he was shocked when out of nowhere a child appeared right on the busy highway in front of him. He says that the child looked no older than six and seemed to be wearing a blue coat. Mitch Kuhn's mother quickly calls the police to warn them about the lost child randomly walking on the highway. After hearing nothing back, 45 minutes later, Mitch calls again to offer his dash cam footage. But the officer on the phone informs him that the child has been found and that the footage isn't needed. And now here's where things get really weird. So after being reassured by the police, Mitch Kuhn believes that the child is safe. He posts his dash cam footage to Facebook and the video is picked up by the Australian National News. Reporters reach out to the police to get more information and the police deny that they ever found the child. They say that they searched the area but no child was found and that there were no reports of missing children in the area. So could it be that Mitch captured something paranormal on camera? And why the strange reaction by the authorities? I'm honestly just not sure. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. That is very bizarre. Very, very weird and bizarre. So the cops, when they called them again, they said that they found the boy, and then when they got on the news, they said that they never found him, but they went looking. That's really sketchy, especially in this place. That is so weird. The Oregon found footage. Now this next video is a bit of a mystery as the source has been heavily debated on the internet. In the video, a man shows off his campsite in the woods of Deschutes, Oregon, when later that night, things just go horribly wrong. Some believe that this footage could have been recorded by Jacob Edris. Jacob disappeared in 2017 and was last seen in Eugene, Oregon after frantically calling his boss about being chased by someone. Others believe that the footage could have been shot by Chase Hove, a young man who also disappeared in 2017. Chase disappeared in the exact same area where this video was recorded. But those are all just theories. Here is the chilling video. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. This is Deschutes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight person tent, or the six person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a, give it a go. It's about that time. Sun is setting. I think it's about eight o'clock. Should be dark out here in less than an hour. We can get a little bit over there to the trees. Beautiful night. Definitely gonna be turning in early though. I've been woken up by God noises. Yeah, you can hear it. It's up from that side. Leave me alone!
Oh my god, and then it snatches you up! Flashlight. I can't see a god thing outside this night vision. Jesus Christ. I don't know where the f chased me off. Now I'm wondering the god darkness. Get in your car and go! Why are you staying? Hey! God, that music got me. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Someone or something makes an attempt to get inside the man's tent. He makes a frantic run for it and forgets his flashlight in the process. Because it's pitch black out, the man relies on the infrared feature on his camera. To his horror, whoever was oh. trying to get into his tent is now standing right in front of him. And that's where the footage cuts off and the mystery intensifies. Why that look like Slender Man on crack cocaine? And like he lost a few heights, like he got real short. Jeez, bro, this is creepy. Now some claim that the camera was found at the campsite along with his car, his tent, and other valuable belongings. Why didn't you get in the car and leave? The mysterious man who recorded it all is said to have disappeared. So whether this footage was recorded by Jacob oh, Idris, hell Chase no. Hove, or neither, we'll probably never know. And perhaps the footage is just a huge, elaborate hoax. I don't know, man. Real or not, I leave it up to you to decide. Or maybe he did this on purpose to fake his disappearance or death just to get away and like faked his death or something and then just left. Maybe he was just tired of his family, maybe tired of his wife and if he was married and everything, you know? You never know. So people will do a lot of things to get away, especially from their loved ones. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I hope I never see anything to where I would have to contact you, Nuke. Point Pleasant Phenomenon. Urban explorer Chris Hill from the popular YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back for another strange urban exploration. This time, Chris travels to Point Pleasant, West Virginia to search out a creepy old tunnel system that is hidden somewhere deep within the woods surrounding the city. Now, the small town of Point Pleasant has seen its fair share of tragedy. In 1967, a suspension bridge over the Ohio River, called the Silver Bridge, suddenly and without warning, collapsed under the weight of rush hour traffic. 46 mm. people died in the tragedy, and two of the victims were never even found. The tragic event led to many strange conspiracies and legends as to why the bridge collapsed. You see, Point Pleasant, West Virginia is where the infamous folklore creature the Mothman was first ever sighted. There were multiple reports and sightings of a quote, large humanoid moth-like creature that occurred in Point Pleasant throughout 1967. This is the same year the bridge collapsed. Some believe that the mysterious Mothman was a harbinger or even possibly the cause of the bridge collapse. Huh. After some scouting, Chris finds the tunnel system and starts his exploration. As he presses forward, exploring deeper and deeper into the tunnels, the water starts to flow more heavily, and the humid fog rising from the stream makes it hard for Chris to breathe. Many miles into the tunnel, it seems that Chris reaches a point that few other people have ever even experienced. He went miles into this tunnel? So what if the Mothman or whatever it is starts chasing you? You gotta run miles to get away, to get out. Why would you, oh gosh, bro. Really? This is how you want to spend your life? You get one shot at this life. One shot, and you want to just risk it all. As there is not even any graffiti on the tunnel walls, 
And this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. I'm hearing a lot of noises down here. Then get out! Hopefully that's the end of the tunnel. Chris hears a chilling sound coming from somewhere in the tunnels right behind him. Stop he walks it! Back to check it out, but he finds nothing there. Even though Chris is a little shook by what he just heard, he is still determined to press onward to find the end of the tunnel. And then he captures some. Two strange figures can be seen peeking out at Chris before disappearing back into the tunnels. Chris says he could barely see anything through the fog on the water and was unaware of what his camera captured at the time. He says that he simply continued down the tunnel and never saw anything that could explain what he had filmed. So what do you think is going on here? Could these mysterious figures have anything to do with the countless Mothman sightings in Point Pleasant? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user DarkSecret37 is a mother from the Philippines currently living in Japan with her two sons. One evening in the spring when the Sakura trees are in full bloom, the two boys make a video with one of their friends filming. What happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> Did you see it? A hand wraps around one of the boy's legs. The guy who's recording is shocked and hurries over to inspect the area around the two boys. But there's nothing and no one there. Some Japanese TikTok commenters believe that long ago someone was buried on the spot where the Sakura tree now stands and that their restless spirit tried to reach out to the children, literally. But what do you think this creepy hand could be? Is it real or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know, dudes. Rachel Dude seemed very concerned. Arizona, is filming a quick little video to show off her brand new TV. But later she realizes that she captured something truly disturbing. I got my TV up, Luggy. Oh, wait. You know how long this took? To build the. A dark humanoid figure seems to be standing over Rachel in the reflection on her TV screen. When she moves closer, whatever it is seems to Hell dart no. away and just disappear. So did Rachel capture something paranormal by accident? You tell me. I got my TV up, Luggy. Oh wait. You know how long this took? The presence. Tommy Wells from Rockwood, Tennessee claims that paranormal activity surrounded him for years, even following him from home to home. But the terrifying events have now begun to affect his wife Leslie and their three children. The family has heard loud, hoof-like footsteps in the house. Objects move on their own. 
and Leslie has even found unexplained bruises all over her body. One night, they begin to hear strange sounds again. They record it all with their newly purchased camera. What happens next is downright creepy. I said, we've moved four or five God times, it keeps following us. No matter where the f we go, it keeps following us. Uh, I, I don't know, we, we live somewhere for two, maybe three months, and it happens right back again. She's quitting. It's what? The water system. What's wrong with the water? Oh, God, I just filled the cup up. I don't know. It's just quit. What? Honey. Yeah. What is going on? Everything in the whole freaking place is just dead. What the frick? What the world? <laughs> what? I'm fine now. What? It's crazy. What is wrong with uh, the microwave? What the? What the What's wrong with the microwave? I'm just sitting there jumping up with pinkies on God's fire. Where's the piano again? Oh my gosh. Water quit again. This is the f out of here. It's crazy. You wanna f with somebody? F with me now, God damn it. Ain't nobody. What is. What? What is that? Tommy. What the f? What the f is that, Tommy? Let's get the f out of here. Let's, let's go. Let's get the f out of here. This ain't leaving. I'm getting the f out of this <laughs> god house, is what I'm doing. Pressure in the house inexplicably drops. Ooh! The microwave flickers and dies, and the piano in the living room makes a noise. But scariest of all, heavy clomping footsteps can be heard slowly moving towards the family. That's when they decide to just get out of there. Cut to another day and Tommy and his family are back in their home to celebrate his daughter's birthday. The girl's cousins, aunt, uncle, and parents have all gathered in the kitchen as the excited girl is served her birthday cake. Unfortunately, this will not be a happy birthday. Man. This is Christina's birthday party and everyone at it, there's Brianna, her little cousin. There's Haley, her other cousin. And there's her daddy Tommy. Hello. And here's her aunt Misty. Hi. And here's her uncle Joey. What up with it? What up with it? Alrighty, let's go with this. Yes. Daddy lighting the candles. Easy, so we can get you a little cake on, ca on camera so we yep. can remember your party. And we'll give the happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay. Love you, Kate. What's up, girl? All she right. gonna blow that? Yeah. Are you gonna cut the cake up, Mama, or you want me to? Go ahead. I'm running the camera. All righty. Daddy's cutting the cake. Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh, my God, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh, my God, damn. And ain't gotta mess everything. He's gonna mess this up for come everybody on. now. Come on, That's Sissy. It. Come on, baby, come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. Heck, I'm sorry, baby. Seems like it's I'm messing so everything in four seconds. It's okay, it'll be alright. God, okay, I wish you had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay, it might it's be just, anything else, okay? This stuff is starting again. Right. I'm sorry. It'll be okay. Chris. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh! Oh God! What the hell is going on? Go to the front room. Go to the front room, girls. Go. Oh God! Oh my God! Miss Nick, get out of here. Come on. Let's go get him. Terrifying paranormal activity disrupts the happy celebration, upsetting the freaked out young girl. Hell no! The family feels that the unexpected has gotten completely out of control. 
and plan to do a seance together in hopes of ridding the home of whatever is haunting them. It did not go well. Of course it didn't! Right. You guys can do the seance, I'm not doing it. I'll hey, you can sit here with us and do it too. You can no, sit here with us no, and help us, man. No. Well, it's supposed to be four people with a seance anyways, I mean. He's smart. Dude, <laughs> Come on, man. Dude. Come on, man. Dude. Whatever the hell did you stop? Tommy. Tommy, come on in here. Let's just turn his lights off and do this. I gotta go, man. Hold on. Just sit still just a few minutes. Just stay there just for a few minutes just till Sam gets here. Sam and Tacey's supposed to be here in a minute. Turn his lights off. I guess so, off. but. Go, if you got man. a handle. Yeah, hold on. Get it back on the camera. Hold on, I'll go get it. Look, come on, look. What the? Oh, God. Come on, let's do this right quick. Come on. Uh, Leslie, Leslie, I'm sorry, babe. Come on. We gotta hold hands. Don't let go of each other's hands. No matter what we do, you've got to stay in the circle and hold hands. Don't let go. I'm not part of this circle, man. If you let go of each other's hands, it's got <coughs> control of it. Can... Hold on, man. God. Look at that. It's a friggin' water off it over here. Put it by my building um, hands. Come on. Man, these people are tweaking. Give us a sign, show us who you are. If you're evil, sorry, baby. <laughs> if you're evil, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, oh, Jerry, 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 Jerry. Oh, God, dang. Oh, 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 my God. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's sign it up. That's sign it up, man. That's sign it up. Okay. Just get it. Let's quit. Hey, Leslie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is that? Um, I don't know. This is a new one. Don't meet your boy. What is it? Where's she cat? No. Are you okay? Oh, God. I'm, I'm so Here, here. Let, get her a freaking rag or something. Here. What? Here. Here. Let me see. Are you okay? Hold on. Go back. It's a freaking water off it over here. Put it by my building. Yes. Did she get cut? If they set them in the house, give us a sign, show us who you are. If you're evil, sorry, baby. <laughs> if you're evil, <laughs> oh, s oh, oh, it's Jerry, 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 Jerry. Oh, hey, God, dang. Oh, 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 hey, 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 Leslie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is it? Um, I don't know. This is a new one. Don't meet your boy. What is it? Where's she cat? No. Are you okay? Oh, God. I'm, I'm so Here, here. Let, get her a freaking rag or something. Here. 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 Let me see. Are you cut? Are you hurt? No. Thomas. Yes. Tommy. Wait, get her with her. Go, 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 go. go. Get, wait a minute. Let's, come on, man. Bring the camera. Let's get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it off. Take it off. Shine it in there. Shine it under the bed. Shine it under the bed. Shine it under the bed. Has got to be sitting here. Look. Cut. Ain't nothing. Check it out, Jacob. Get this off of it. Let's get it. Go on. Let's get it. God. As the family begins the seance, a bed moves on its own. Even though family member Jacob is sitting right on top of it, Jacob jumps up in fear, but the bed still continues to move. The water faucet then turns on by itself. But what truly seems to terrify them all is that blood seems to drip down from the ceiling and lands on Tommy's wife's hand. Now, Tommy believes that something demonic and evil has attached itself to his family. But what happens next will forever remain a mystery. Because, you see, these videos were posted to YouTube over 10 years ago, and there have been no updates since. From quite a bit of research, I discovered that the family eventually moved away to a new home. Tommy's son has shared that the paranormal activity has calmed down a lot since then, and has never returned to being as extreme as it is in these videos. So are these clips proof of poltergeist activity? Yeah! Because the girls at the birthday party certainly seem legitimately freaked out. So either the family experienced real paranormal events, 
or I don't think the kids were in on the plan. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Mm. Thanks once again. Yo, that was crazy. Blood dripping from the ceiling. I thought she got cut for a minute. I didn't know that it was blood dripping from the ceiling until uh, New pointed out once I rewind it back. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, make sure that you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys want to see the original video without my commentary, I'll post a link to it down in the description below. As always, have a great day. Peace out.